Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, a couple weeks ago, we did a video where I carved my art into stamps with this funky tool right here. Honestly, when I made that video, I did not think many people would watch it. I was just sort of going through this phase of trying to do the things that I really felt like doing deep down inside stuff that made me happy and creatively fulfilled. <laughs> anyway, I think you all really enjoyed it as well, so we may as well do another one, right? I think so. Actually, I also went back to Blix to get some more stamp stuff. I actually got a lot of stuff at Blix because I kind of blew through a lot of this lino cutting material. So, here we are again. Here we are. First of all, since I'm super interested in this now, I decided to get a book that talks about like tons of different techniques and sort of gives some ideas as to what you can do with block printing. If anybody's interested, this book is by Emily Louise Howard called Block Printing Magic. This bag was so heavy because I got some huge slabs of lino cutting material. Yeah. But seriously, this stuff is pretty impressive. You guys have seen this one. I used it in my last video, so I got another one. Ooh, I also got this cute little one. I'm so excited. Now, for new colors, I'm really excited about this. We've got some red right here and this beautiful black ink here. Those are the only two colors I got because if you look behind me on that shelf, I have a lot of other ones from the last video. Something that I bought is missing. Let me see if I actually got it. I meant to get a 1.5 inch brayer as well but I must have just like looked at it and not actually put it in my basket. We'll make do with what we have. I finally remembered to get the one and a half inch brayer. If you don't know what this is, let me just show you. This cute little rolly thing and it spreads your ink. I just wanted a smaller one for my smaller pieces and areas. Anyway, let's get started because I think we're gonna do some bigger projects in this video. Mm, it's gonna be so good, it's gonna be so good. I'm pumped. If you wanna see some other stuff that I've carved in the past, I will link my block printing series down below so you can sort of binge some fun stuff. Let's begin the most satisfying part of this entire process. Right now, I am trimming down this lino cut material to the size that I need for my picture, and we're getting ready to carve into this. So first, I'm just drawing out my design. You can either do this on like transfer paper if you want to not think about flipping your image, or you can just draw onto the material like me. I like the way it feels to draw onto it, so that's why I do it. Anyway, now we are carving, and as I said, this is the most satisfying part of the entire process. For some reason, it is so therapeutic to just carve into this stuff and pull all these little strings away from the piece. So for this design, I wanted to shoot for something summery and garden themed. So I'm doing a bunch of carrots. And I thought this design would be fun because one day I envision doing screen printing onto tote bags. That's something I really wanna do. And I could totally make reusable grocery bags with these. 
So I was definitely keeping that in mind when I made this, but you know, that's a whole nother process I'll have to learn in the future. So right now we will print this on paper. <laughs> Now, because this design was larger, it actually took me a couple hours to carve this out. And I kid you not, my hand was so sore afterward. There were just so many little details in the carrots and then carving out all the negative space around the image. It took some muscle. I mean, it's not really that bad, but it's just a patient process. And actually my favorite part of doing this is definitely carving away the negative space because yeah it's such a great sensory experience okay so to streamline the process i know i want to do a couple stamps in this video and so I'm going to do all the drawing and all the carving right now. And then we're going to do all the inking later. And just a spoiler alert, I got so carried away later in the video that I'm going to bring in a bunch of other stamps that I've done in the past. I drew a desert scene for this one and I wanted it to be at night. So I put this giant moon up in the sky. We're carving it out with some fun textures. You can see here all these baby choppy little strokes. And now I'm just cutting everything else out. This design definitely took some calculating because again, it's gonna be a night scene. So there wasn't a lot of like carving to take stuff away. You'll see what I mean once we ink it, but yeah, it definitely took a lot of calculation for this one. And I was so nervous about this one because there were a lot of plants and textures in the rock and the, the sky. I really enjoyed carving out the cacti because I loved creating the texture with this tool. It was super easy and it had a really fun result. We're doing some clouds in the sky. I thought it would be fun even though it's nighttime. <laughs> we'll just do what we want, you know. And yeah, this one also took a couple hours. It probably actually took longer than the carrots, even though it's a smaller stamp. There were just a lot more details and thought that went into it. It's a new day. We have quite the overcast sky. It's pretty cold here in Ohio. I don't know why, but that's okay. We're having a cuddly Saturday right here with the jammies. It is time to bust out the ink and do the exciting stuff. So for this video, I actually did way... <sighs> Stamp shavings are everywhere. I did way more detailed designs than I've done in any of my previous stamp making, print making sorts of videos. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens with this. This one took forever. I actually turned off the camera to finish it. Let's see what we can do. It's gonna be a good time. Ooh, I have to show you something satisfying because I know you guys love this every single video. So let's do it, let's do it. Look at this beautiful mess of shavings. <laughs> Bye. But for real, some of these are like spaghetti noodles. Like, whoa, this one is so satisfying. <laughs> uh, I'm such a child. Okay, let's clean this up. I'm kind of going for like a vintage-y look and I think it would be so fun to start off with this black ink right here. So let's try this for both of the designs and then if we want to jump into something more colorful, we'll do that. Taking you with me. Look at all those stones. That took forever. Hopefully it looks okay when we 
print it. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that part, honestly. All right, here's our piece of glass. Say hi to door. All right, let's do some print making with this little blobby here. I think I put too much ink down, but we'll see. Okay, I'm not really sure which one I want to do first. I think I think we'll do the carrots first. If anybody wants to know what I'm using for the paper, it is this Speedball printmaking paper. It works really, really good. I will list everything I'm using down below in case you're curious and you want to try this. So yeah, go for it. I'm afraid I have too much ink on this brayer. Hopefully I can spread it thin. Okay, so one thing about this particular lino cut here is I purposely left some of the edge work up really high. So I want like little pieces to show up when I do the printmaking. Like it's a intentionally like that because I want it to look like a stamp. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, this is so satisfying. My goodness. Ooh, we have some little stragglers. This is so cool. Well, I hope it looks good on paper. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Gotta get this centered. Here's our piece of paper. We're gonna use this thing to spread it out. I think it's called a barren. I forget. I had a really embarrassing moment the last video where I also read the other languages <sighs> and now it's immortalized on the internet. <sighs> The next thing I got, I don't know how to pronounce this thing. It says Baron Froton Tapet. Baron Froton Baron Froton Tapet. That's how I'm gonna say it. Get this centered okay. Okay, there we go. Good enough. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see what happened. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is definitely my favorite print I've ever made. <laughs> that was worth spending hours upon hours carving this. It looks really old and vintage. I actually wanted to do this one because I was thinking about putting it on like tote bags for reusable grocery bags, you know? Oh, I'm so excited about this. Ah. By the way, if you want prints of these, I will have a couple in my store. Only a few though, so yeah, if you want one, go to mirabiler.com. All right, where can you sit to dry? Round two. This one turned out a little lighter, but I like it. This one was definitely a success. We will do this in more colors later. All right, time for the second one. I am a little nervous about this one. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, this one is a little smaller. We're gonna do black ink again for this one. And we'll try other colors later, as I said. I just don't want to waste all this ink. All right, ready for this? Wow. My goodness. That is so stinking cool. I love this one. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so one thing to note, this stamp is not a perfect rectangle. It's a little crooked, uh, just the way I cut it. So that's why it looks crooked. I analyzed it for a little bit, but that is why. That's okay. Let's do another one. I like it. Okay, we're gonna try these peonies again from my last video because I just think it'd be really fun. So let's, let's go for it. That looks way better than the last time. I listened to a lot of your advice about using less ink. Game changer. Okay, another little throwback because I have zero self-control here, but I have all these fun little stamps. Okay, at this point we are admittedly getting way out of hand, but this is like an area of art that I, I'm really starting to enjoy, so we're doing it. We're doing it. I used to stamp my packages with this moth here. So some of you may have envelopes or boxes with this on it if you've ever ordered from my shop. Like two years ago, I think. Yeah, something like that. How cute. This brings back so many memories on my channel. We get to use the baby brayer. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So satisfying. All right, let's bring this little dude to life. Wow, this tool here is larger than the stamp. This is so cute. <laughs> it's so teeny. It's literally like way smaller than this. Okay, so now we have these other art supply stamps. I know we're just traveling back in time here and doing all these old stamps. I can't help myself. It's so fun. Is so cute. Okay, we made a big mess, but it was worth it. I'm gonna clean these off because we have some other ink colors to mess around with, and I'm so excited to do something with this one. So as I said earlier in the video, we're gonna do some other colors now. I bought this light red ink color. Oh, do you see that face? You see it? It's like a screaming face. Anyway, we're gonna do some carrot stamps with this one because I thought it would be so fitting. That's one of the reasons why I bought this color. So we'll see. Let's see what happens. I don't think this one will have as much of a vintage touch as the black ink, but who knows? All right, moment of truth. Ooh, I like this one a lot. It does still seem a little vintage, so that's kind of cool. Then I did this one with a little bit more yellow and it was fun too. Well, we just did lots of these prints here and I really enjoyed playing around with different colors. This one has like a mix of red and yellow in with it because I don't have orange ink. <laughs> It's not like super orange though. It's more, it's more red. I still think the black ones are my favorite, but let me know what your favorite one is. I totally went overboard with this. Like my entire floor in here is basically covered with prints. My desk is covered with prints. This was a fun activity. 
I definitely think I'm getting more into this. So there will probably be more of these videos on my channel in the future, but I'm not turning into a printmaking channel, just FYI. We have cool things, which, ooh, I should tell you, I should tell you. I'm gonna hint, you see that giant um, canvas behind me? I finally got a new easel and the whole canvas doesn't even fit in the picture. That's all I'm gonna hint for now. It's, it's gonna be something really fun, so. It probably won't come out for a couple weeks though, cause that's gonna take me a long time. <laughs> but if you want another hint of something that's coming super soon. This tiny, tiny sketchbook here is making a return to my channel and we're gonna be filling it together. We already filled some of it in an old video, as you can see. I'm not gonna spoil the rest, but that's just one page. So yeah, super soon. That's all I will hint at for now because my idea list is super long right now. I am like flooded with inspiration lately. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have ever tried this, let me know. I'm just staring at all of these prints on my floor because I didn't even record all of them. There's a lot. Anyway, yeah. Have a fantastic day, and uh, see you next week. Bye.